Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at the TDSI Gardis controller. We're looking at the initial um, setup and configuration using the onboard web browser. You don't need any special software for this. You can just use your, your own browser. Um, I'm using uh, Edge, but you can do it equally in Chrome or Firefox or whichever browser you prefer. The um, the device itself has a, a set IP address of 192.168.150. Now I'm not using that. On the controller itself, in other videos I'll show you this, but on the controller itself you can enable or disable DHCP. Now typically I don't recommend you use DHCP. It's, it's, not, um, it's not an ideal thing if there's power cuts or if you're using um, controls controllers which are likely to come and go um, because of power problems it will change its IP address but it does have it use it does have its uses such as what I'm using it for today I've just plugged into my network enabled DHCP I've used a generic network scanner to find my device on the network if I show you the scanner here so it's yeah, that one there um, you can see it's found the um, scanner. It's, uh, so the scanner's found the device, and I've just browsed into it. So, so it's a lot easier way of, um, of, of doing things because you don't need to change your IP address and your, your computer and so on. But if you do need to change your adapter and you want to browse into it that way, of course you can. Once you come to the device, you you ask to log in. You can use the username as pass uh, as admin, and the password is printed on. The, um, the device case and that brings you to the configuration window here so first thing we need to do go to the master unit tab and we DACP is enabled switch it off and change it to the IP address um, that suits the application I'm just gonna leave it on for the time being because I'll be in and out and I don't have time to restart it uh, so from, from here you can um, set the parameters, what time is the BST, when does it start and finish, um, if it's problems with the onboard clock not keeping up, you can change the settings there. Um, disable or enable tamper if you're putting it in a third party PSU. Operating mode, is it read in, read out, or is it simply just read in? So I've selected just read in because mine's just the, the single door. Uh, a single reader on the controller. Once you've made all your um, setting changes, click on save, and that will set the um, set the details into the controller. Next would be readers, reader one. Enable this reader. The configuration. What type of reader is it? Now I'm using the Gardis reader, so that's a TDSI reader. You can see here there's quite a few pre um, pre configured readers that you can use um, but I'm quite a good TDSI reader uh, so leave that as is the um, the other features are in out readers um, you can set up anti pass back and so on once you've set it as a TDSI reader make sure you press save then we're going to have a quick look at schedules let's go to access groups and then to group one so all this is basically to do when you add users, one of the things it asks you, this is just to do a quick configuration, but one of the things it asks you is what door is a user allowed through? And when you're setting somebody up, you would put them down as group one, for instance. So let's just go back. So group one, you can see there's, there's 11 groups. So let's see what does group one do? Group one, uh, first of all, do you want to prohibit the group? No. Um, use reader hold time no limit users no permissions uh, readers reader one when are they allowed through the door so it's permanent access um, when you wherever you do press save okay schedules and this is just to set up time zones you can leave it as is it's 24 hours as, as standard so you can leave it as is and, and that'll be absolutely fine and that's really it. That's the, the 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 short setup. So what we've done is we've created a, an access level, we've set the the reader type, we've assigned its IP address, 
And that reader's actually ready to go now. That controller reader's ready to go now. You can start adding users to the system. And that's a short setup of the uh, TDSI Gardis uh, controller.